Hello everyone. In this lecture, we will explore sync waves. We explored previously sync phases in RBCD, the pre-sync and sync and post-sync, where we can customize and configure our manifest deployment and choose the suitable phase for our application. What if we need more flexibility to set the orders of our manifest in the same phase? So we want to deploy, for example, the back-end deployment before the front-end deployment. We can achieve this using waves. By default, each manifest will be deployed in wave zero. And you can set explicitly the wave for each manifest. For example, if you want to deploy this config map at wave zero, then you want to deploy the back end at wave one, then you want to deploy the front end after that. We can achieve that by setting the wave's values. You can set any number, whether it's negative or positive number. RBCD will start always with the lower number and after that we'll go to the higher wave number. And let's note that RBCD will respect the resource's health state for each wave. That means it will start with the next wave if all the resources are healthy in the current wave. So that's why it will start with wave zero and make sure the resources are healthy then it will start with wave one and next with wave two and after that it will go to the next phase so the overall actions that it will take it will start with the first phase deploy every possible wave then go to the next phase deploy the waves and deploy the last phase which is post sync if available so we can use sync waves to order how rbcd will sync and deploy our application manifests by default as we say that all the manifests will be deployed in the wave zero and you can set the sync wave explicitly by using the annotation rbcd sync wave this example is a deployment manifest that will be deployed in the sync wave minus one. You can set any value you need, whether it's negative or positive. Argo CD always start with the lowest wave value and after that we'll go to the next one. And we have to note that next wave will be started if the current wave is healthy so a default delay between the waves is set by rcd as two seconds how rcd starts sync actions so rcd starts to order the manifest for your application by the following order first it will start with the phase pre-sync, then sync, then the post-sync. In the specific phase, it will calculate how many waves is there, and it will start one by one, starting with the lowest. And it will respect the kind of the manifest. It will start, for example, by the namespaces, then network policies, then resource quotas, etc. And the last one to order the manifest is by name. This is an example of a job manifest that will be deployed in the pre-sync phase in the sync wave minus one. That's it for this lecture. See you next.